Inside the AHSAA, your weekly look inside Alabama prep athletics. Brought to you by TeamIP.com, AL.com, Encore Rehabilitation, Alpha Insurance, Wilson, South Point Bank, Russell Athletic, and Coca-Cola. Welcome to Inside the AHSAA. I'm your host, Luke Robinson. This week, we'll be taking you through everything going on in the world of Alabama high school athletics. Clay County High School's 7-6 football win Friday night at Horn White Stadium in Ashland over Lineville will be the final game in the rivalry that has been called one of the nation's top 10 prep football rivalries. The two teams began playing in 1922, and the rivalry has now spanned 101 games with Clay County winning 43 and Lineville winning 54. The two schools have tied four times. Both schools are being merged into a brand new school to be known as Central High School of Clay County. The Panthers and Aggies fade as the new school's nickname becomes the Volunteers. It was a classic finish to a series that began in 1922 with Lineville winning by the same 7-6 score over Ashland. 100 years later, Clay County averaged 11.8 points per game in the series and Lineville averaged 12.8. Principal Billy Walker said 2,600 advance tickets were sold and the crowd was estimated at more than 5,000 in a stadium that can seat maybe 3,500. The stadium was full by 4.30 in the afternoon with late arrivals standing 30 deep around the fence and even deeper on the hill overlooking the field. As many as five TV stations were on hand, numerous reporters and a host of other media. Former Governor Bob Riley, who is a Clay County grad himself, administered the ceremonial coin toss before the game using a special centennial coin honoring President Ronald Reagan. Head coaches Chris Heron of Clay County and Steve Giddens of Lineville can be proud of the finish. It was a classic game that required the winning team to block an extra point and block a field goal try in the final four minutes and 30 seconds of the game. Sportsmanship was at its best from the players, coaches, and the fans. This incredible rivalry will be missed, but we can look forward with excitement to the new legacy of Central of Clay County. In the meantime, the Panthers and Aggies will try to close the 2011 season with state championships in Class 3A and 2A respectively. Together, the two schools have played 14 Super 6 state finals, including 1996 when the two met each other in the 2A finals at Legion Field. In one other milestone team performance, Fort Payne defeated Coleman 44-21 to record the Wildcats' 500th school win. Fort Payne, currently coached by Paul Ellis, is now 500, 336, and 29 all-time. Auburn High reached that milestone earlier this season and is now 502, 356, and 29. Elba at 498 wins and Oxford at 497 wins are the next two schools in line to win number 500. Wetumpka at 495 and Huntsville at 494 have a shot at reaching 500 wins this season as well. A total of 34 schools have reached that milestone with T.R. Miller at 613 wins, the state leader followed by Deschler with 608 wins, and Enterprise at 605 wins. Fayette County, who is 4-1 in the season, is next in line to reach number 600. The Tigers are currently two away with 598 victories. We'll be back with more Inside the AHSAA in just a moment. is proud to announce that we are expanding to a full service marketing company. Lee Marketing Group offers four great brands. Lee Apparel for t-shirts, polos, and promotional products. Southern Sports for athletic uniforms and equipment. Sign Source is a full service sign provider. And r and Media for website design and TV and radio production. Now with two great locations, Highway 280 in Davil and Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Lee Marketing Group, bringing your name to the world. At the midpoint of the 2011 prep football season, 46 teams are currently undefeated in all six classes with 10 each in classes 1A, 3A, and 6A, 
nine undefeated teams in Class 4A, four in 2A, and three in 5A. Ironically, 47 schools are still looking for their first wins, 13 in 1A, 10 in 3A, seven in 2 and 6A, six in 4A, and four in Class 5A. This Friday, two of the undefeated teams square off in Daphne as Bayside Academy hosts Washington County in a key 3A Region 1 game. Several other unbeaten teams take on schools with one loss including in Class 1A, Raglan hosting Akron, Lynn hosting Hubbardville, Linden at McIntosh. In Class 2A, Elba is hosting Highland Home. In Class 3A, Glen Coast is at Sachs, Hansville is at Cordova, and Handley is at Marbury. In Class 4A, Bibb County visits Sumter Central, Fairview goes to Gunnersville, and in 5A, Eufaula visits Valley, and Fairfield hosts McAdory. For the record, three Class 1A schools, Addison, Barry, and Marion County, are tied for the lead in scoring offense after five games. All three have scored 264 points, an average of 52.8 points per game. Right behind is Class 2A, American Christian, with 51.4 points per game, and Class 5A, Pinson Valley averaging 50 points per game. The state's best defense is currently Brantley, who is 5-0. The Class 1A Bulldogs have yielded only 13 points in five games. That's an average of 2.6 points per contest. Class 1A Linden and Maplesville are right behind with 4.4 points allowed per game. Two county tournaments highlight the state volleyball action this weekend. Sandrock is hosting the Cherokee County Tournament and Donahoe School in Anniston will be hosting the Calhoun County Tournament. Both will be excellent tune-ups for the schools as they move into the AHSA state playoffs beginning in a couple of weeks. Well, that's going to do it for Inside the AHSA. Thanks so much for being with us this week. Hope to see you next week on Inside the AHSA.